The Kebbi State Governorship Election Petitions Tribunal sitting in Britain, Kebbi, the state capital, has upheld the election of the candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Nasser Idris, as the duly elected governor of Kebbi State. This comes after the People's Democratic Party and its candidate, Aminu Bandi, approached the tribunal seeking to upturn the election. They were challenging the academic qualification of the deputy governorship candidate of the APC, Abubakar Tafida, while also arguing that the election did not comply with the provision of the Electoral Act. I have now affirmed that a mass voting, that lawful vote cast, and it's the election for Idris Nassim, and this remains the extant of the case. The people of the case spoke, and Jabna has already added a voice to confirm that they didn't find a certificate and they have a new certificate to qualify them and inure them a right and that legal position for governorship of Kimi State and every governor of Kimi State to certificate. And what is amazing, all of us here, is to advise that Kimi is one and is one family. The election comes and goes. Even the judgment now is not for the election, the electoral system. It's now time for us to sit down together and look at the area where they have to join hands, both APC and PDP, to make maybe the guitar state in the annals of history of our Nigeria. Well, the Minister of Interior, Olubumi Tunjojo, says from December this year, passports would be made available in two weeks after application. The minister promised Nigerians would be saved the pains of having to wait on the queue to upload the needed information to get their passports issued. Mr. Tunjojo said that registration would be done online and the only thing needed to be done at any passport office will be biometrics capturing and passport collection. He said the ministry is working at getting the needed equipment to make the December deadline possible. The minister added that the Nigeria Immigration Service and other stakeholders have been able to clear 204,332 passports backlog across the country within three weeks. So it, it, we want to put an end to the era when people... When you want to go to a passport office, you know you have to cancel the whole day, knowing that it's just for passport. And your whole day is wasted. Your time, your resources, we have to bring an end to that and give people sweet experience. The, what I call the Nigerian experience. So we, and by doing that, instead of a passport office, maybe capturing only 400 a day, because you've cut out the issue of uh, paperwork, you've cut out the issue of uh, picture, and we might attend to six, seven hundred more people. It means we will be able to give more dates to people, you know, and we can accommodate more people.